Well guys, good morning. Uh, Monday morning, came into work and first thing we found was an issue with the bus again. Uh, it's just a broken window, broken piece of glass on one of the, right behind the driver. So uh, I'm going to have to remove this one, tear it apart, replace that pane of glass and put it back on there. I know I previously made a video, but it wasn't the clearest, it wasn't the nicest, so I'm going to try and see if I can make this one a little bit better. And, uh, well, let me see what turns out. Let me go ahead and get to this one. Well, guys, on this one, it's got, it's got six, uh, no, it's got five Phillips head screws on either side. Uh, these black metal flanges are holding the window in place. We got to remove these. Well, and then the window has a weather stripping all the way around. We got to use a uh, screwdriver to kind of pry it loose, remove this window so you can go ahead and take it over to the table, dismantle this window so you can go ahead and remove this pa painted glass and replace it. So let me get this one done real quick. These metal strips are what hold the window in place. Uh, there's one. And then there's two. We got both of them off. Now, screwdrivers, light pressure. You don't want to bend the aluminum or uh, kind of just got that kind of tar type of material. I'm going to open this so that I can, in case we got that tar sticking to the frame, I can just kind of like take it off so I don't make a mess if you take it off and little stringies of tar fall on your upholstery I mean you're not gonna get it off so once we get it loose there we go bring it down a bit break all the little stringies off There we go, guys. Well, guys, uh, that light coming down on that window, I should have placed that light somewhere else. Uh, I didn't think of it. Uh, that could have cost me some more work because I could have broken the other pane of glass. Good thing it didn't. But that's something that I will try to change. I ain't going to set up that light right on top of my work area because it could have been that broken piece of glass or it could have fell on me so well let me go ahead and take this window over to the table and uh get it disassembled and uh, replace that painted glass well guys uh got the window on the bench and uh you can see i set this side up this is the mating surface or the part that actually mates to the bus this is that little uh, weather strip, little tar, little whatever, little string. Uh, I decided to put it up because I don't want this to stick to the table. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, dismantle, pull this lower bar off of the window off. I'm going to loosen the center bar just a bit so I can kind of just pry it just a bit, the, the frame apart. 
I'm going to slide this piece of glass out. It's got like a rubber seal all around it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Remove that little seal off of the glass. Put the seal on the new glass. Install the new glass and reassemble this uh, window frame. So let me go ahead and get that done. Well, on this one guys, this is the bit we use for the windows. It's an S2 square bit. So this is what we use to, uh, the screws that are, you got two here, one here, and then again, again on the other side, you use the S2 bit to get those screws. These two, you loosen, these four you remove. So let me get that done. we got those off now let me go ahead and this has been sealed with some kind of uh, silicone base something let me show you uh, uh, let me just take it off guys it's some kind of a, like an adhesive There's that, and there's that. This is the crap, the silicone, whatever they use to, I guess, seal it up after they install it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull this little pane of glass out. There we go. And this rubber seal we have to reuse. So let's take it off. Guys, this is one of the first. This is a 2006 model bus, and this glass has never been replaced, guys. So. I guess it paid for itself. That was about time. That was due. Let me go get the new piece of painted glass. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and put this piece of painted glass back in. Uh, I forgot to record while I was putting that little seal back on the window, on the glass. But, I mean, it's fairly easy. I mean, you saw how I removed it. All you got to do is kind of just put the little rubber seal back in place. So. Uh, but I do apologize for that one, guys. Uh, I didn't get the footage of that, so let's go ahead and continue. <clears throat> you got a bring the frame back into place. Get your screw. Tighten this side back up. All right, and then I bring it up so the weight of the glass is resting, putting pressure down.
That's it, guys. Well, guys, let's go ahead and get this uh, piece of glass back in place so we can be done with this one. And bring the next one, whatever's is next. So, close the window on this one, guys. That way, frame is not. Doesn't go in crooked. Make sure that the window is closed. Put the top first, raise it up a bit. little lip it goes toward the top I kind of start the, the screws in by hand Ah, okay. Where do I meto? Guys, we're all done, guys. Oh, shoot. Always forgetting something, forgot the light, but uh, I think you guys got it. We're gonna go ahead and call this one done, guys. And, uh, well, yep. Well, guys, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, like and subscribe, guys.